Hey guys, this is my first video um, of my new 2017 collection. Um, as you all were, last year I was trying to collect all of Tamiya's two and four wheel drive buggies from the first 100, and which is 33 of, and I got to 28 with a few other buggies that I like. Um, but I had some sort of personal issues, so anyway, I ended up selling it all. Um, so everything's rosy again now, and I'm going to put a new collection together. Um, it's not as particular this collection, obviously it's Tamiya only, and the majority, well, nearly all of it will be from the first 100. Um, but there will be a few other things in there in between, just sort of some of my personal favourites and what have you. Um, so as I say, this is the first video um, with what I've got so far. Um, and um, I'll go through them initially and, uh, and here we go. So the first one, just finished this last night, is a Tamiya Super Dragon. Um, this one, um, as you had called Tamiya will know, was never done as a car itself. It was just a, a shell you could buy along with the Winger and the Dash 1 Emperor. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna put all those three cars in this collection. Um, the next one I'm going to work on tomorrow is a Dash 1 Emperor. Um, so I'll hopefully have that for the next video. Um, but I think it's a cracking thing. It's, it goes on the hopper chassis. Um, it's it's box art. Um, it's a t Team Blue TBG shell with MCI decals. Um, it's a Hornet chassis I've used on this one, and I've got these absolutely awesome Tamiya gold-plated wheels, which I got on a Sonic Fighter. I've never seen the you know the the, the Striker uh, Falcon wheels, but gold-plated. Never seen them ever before, but they look absolutely awesome. Uh, I've also put a driver in it, which I do with most of my cars. But yeah, well trust with that. Um, moving across is my Hot Shot 2. Um, lovely condition. Um, just needed some TLC, basically. Being a bit of a loft find. Um, absolutely all original. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's fantastic. Love it. Um, very nice motor. Next one down, my original Avanti 2001. When I, when I say original, I just mean there's um, the body shell and decals are 100% genuine Tamiya. Um, one of my favourite ever cars this, it's an absolute stunner, um, it's a beast and it looks gorgeous because obviously it's just been painted. Um, I've just finished the shell and decals a couple of weeks ago so it looks brand new. Beautiful, beautiful mobile, love that one and um, this time around as well I'm keeping the motors in them so just to go back as you can see the white end bell on the 540s, the genuine 540s, you won't better see that but this has got the um, the black um, sports tune motor in um, as it came with, love that car, love that to bits. Uh, moving across my top force, well what a looking, beautiful looking car they are. Um, now I'm going to call this a 2007 Ri Ri because I'm really not sure, it could be original but I've gone on the groups and I've asked the question and apparently they're, they're identical so I'm going to go and say it's a 2007 Ri Ri because I'm not that bothered to be fair. It's, uh, it's only been ran twice this one, um, so it looks absolutely brand new. Um, all I do with that, I always paint my tyres as you can see, and um, I always colour the windows in black with a marker pen because every every bloody top force I see, um, it has the dark green windows. I just think it looks so much better with black. Anyway, love that car. Um, next one down, original Blackfoot. Uh, just finished this last night. Um, well chuffed with this, got it on eBay um, a week ago and I've just put the, you know it's all original but it's the 2016 Blackfoot decals um, which I'm not bothered about to be fair. Um, I also, as you can see with the Ford badge on the front um, in silver and on the back the Ford, you know it's genuine, um, you see the driver I just painted last night. So that's an absolute beauty. I'm well chuffed with that. I had a 2016 last year that I built and I did it in a gloss back colour, but I did this in satin black and I just think it looks the dogs. It's awesome. Beautiful. Um, next one across, where it all started for me, the beautiful Thunder Shot. One of my favourite looking cars. I think it's a little cracking buggy. buggy. Um, again, it's an original one, not a re re. Um, it's got MCI decals on it because it had a lot of uh, blue overspray on it, um, which I had to use that fantastic purple top Tamiya 
polycarbonate cleaner, which also is a paint stripper. And if you've never used it, get on it way bare, get it from Japan for about seven quid, a couple of weeks. Little bottle lasts you forever and it just you can do anything. Anything with paint is amazing. Um so I painted the tires again, but it's in tip top condition, love it. Um I just need to look in it actually, I just need to paint the driver's head because it's his helmet's a bit a bit not white, so I'll put that right later. And next one across is my original Monster Beetle. Very nice. Uh, I got this off of a, a local lad. Right, nice lad. And uh, I've done nothing with it, to be fair. Uh, I just dusted it off, cleaned it up, stripped the radio gear out of it. Um, I repainted the driver and that. But it's... Um, God, it's a beauty. I love it. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, I mean, you know, if I was... I'm not too bothered about, you know, I could rip the decals off, I could get it all sprayed up, touch the body up perfectly and put 2015 decals on, but I, I, I like it as it is, you know, it's it's a little bit used, but it looks awesome. Um, and that's, that's so I've got the two monster trucks there. Um, there will be a lunchbox, which I'll buy a brand new one and a re, -re and I'm going to add hopefully a, a, um, a mud thrasher to it as well. Uh, mud blaster, sorry, mud thrasher. Um, at some point as well, because um, they're some of my favourite monster trucks. Um, and finally, so far is this absolutely stunning Sonic Fighter, um, which I got off a friend um, who I've had a few cars off, and it's in absolute A1 condition. I love it. Now that came with those gold plated wheels on, um, and I can't source the proper wheels for it, so I um, put these wild one wheels on. Um, and it don't look too bad to be fair, so you know it's not standard, it's not box art, but for now it's fine. You know, I can I'll leave it as it is. Uh, fantastic detail on it, I really like it. Um, so that's it for cars as we speak right now. Um, as you can see, I'm putting my cabinets back together. Um, I've gone for white cabinets this time. So these are I get asked this question all the time. So basically. These are IKEA Detolf uh, cabinets. The forty pounds each. Um, they, they come with no lights, but these these LED lights here. There's four. That's that comes for you get them for IKEA as well, and they're twenty quid. And twenty quid will do you both cabinets. Um, so you got hundred quid's worth of cabinet. But as you'll see next week, um, I will start adding shelves to it. So they come as standard with air. Sorry, what you also need to see, what I get asked a lot. When I have them side by side, and I'm gonna connect these two together as well, um, so they're a lot more stable. But um, I take the two of these two center pieces of glass out here, as you can see, um, which allows the longer cars to overlap, as you can see. Don't have to do that. Um, you can get away with just taking one out, but I like the option so I can move them around. And as I say, when I secure the top, it'll be, it'll be uh, very secure. Um, so that's what we've got at the moment, um, this is Saturday the 18th, next Saturday I will be making the second one because my shelves are on order and they should be here by Wednesday, I've got the new shelf brackets, the brackets come from eBay, if you type in um, IKEA Detolf brackets, there's a guy who just makes them on a 3D printer, um, does a set of three, three shelves for about seven quid. The shells, you I get Perspex plastic sheeting, um, four mil thick, two hundred and eighty by three hundred and eighty mil, um, and they they work at about four pound a shelf, and I just get that from company off the internet. Um, comes to about thirty five quid with cut with carriage, for uh, another eight shelves. So I'll be going from eight to sixteen in those two cabinets. I have put more in. I've got to ten. I'm going to go for four uh, eight cars in each cabinet this time round. But on my last one, if you look back, I had up to 10 cars, but just too much hassle. And it's very difficult to get in there and, and remove the cars and move it around. So a lot more room. Um, so as I say, I've got uh, the extra shelves and brackets are here. I've already got uh, one, two, three, four. I've got five cars to add to this that are almost complete. So once I get the shelves in, I'll make part two of this video, this blog, um, next weekend. With the f I'll go through the five added cars and how the shells fit in. Um, so you've all got that detail. Uh, and I think that's pretty much for now. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, um, obviously this is in YouTube, so you can either um, st stick me a question 
um, under the YouTube. If you like this and you want to follow it, please subscribe to me and then you'll get the automatic updates. Um, and also if you want to join me on um, Instagram, it's Vintage Tamia, and uh, I'd love to see you on there. And um, obviously um, Tamia's first 150 two wheel drive and four wheel drive buggy group on Facebook, which is proving a very popular group now. We're almost up to 600 members. So if you want to uh, join that as well and see it all in more detail as we build these cars and other members do, then yeah, please join us. Um, what a great hobby it is. So hope you like my video and I'll um, make part two next weekend. Thanks for watching.